Uh, my name is Cindy Loomer and I'm a grade 5 teacher at the Alfred J. Gomes Elementary School in New Bedford and I'm also a educator at the Ocean Explorium in New Bedford. I believe that it was William Glasser who said that if I hear I forget, if I see I remember, but if I do I will understand. And uh, it is that essential learning of doing something that um, brought me to bring my students to the Project Oceanology site at the Avery Point campus for an overnight experience. Project Oceanology, in collaboration with a variety of partners, including the Ocean Explorium at New Bedford Seaport and the University of Massachusetts at Dartmouth, has been working with the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration on a grant known as Building New England Connections. This grant has allowed us to bring school districts from throughout the various states of, of New England here to Avery Point to do some programming on Long Island Sound and its environs and prepare them uh, to have opportunities to work in their own areas, to develop skills and techniques that allow them to work in their own states. Okay, we're here with a couple of New Bedford public school teachers who are part of a NOAA grant with uh, Project Oceanology in Connecticut and the Ocean Explorium in New Bedford. And the program was called, in, called Building New England Connections. And uh, I'd like to pass the mic along to the two teachers who basically took their students down from New Bedford to Connecticut for this experience. Okay. Um, it, this was very exciting for us. Um, my sixth grade class, which also included my partner, uh, Jody Braun, um, and as well as Kim's class from Taylor and Cindy Loomer's class from Gomes, were chosen to go down for an overnight experience with our students, with then followed up with a day-long class in June with the rest of our students. Hey, my name is Kim Hudon. I'm from the Taylor School in New Bedford. Not only did I have the opportunity to go to Project Oceanology and learn as a student, and so did Laurie and Cindy, but my students did also. Uh, they had an unbelievable time. Uh, we left Taylor School that morning. They all got on the bus. I had 98 percent of my students go. Uh, it was just an awesome experience. They slept overnight in the dorm, which they thought was the neatest thing because it, the college experience, and they felt like a, a big girl, a big girl, big boy, big student. Um, they did all kinds of labs, and we did field studies outside. And we went on the Project Oceanology boat, and they did all kinds of lab experiences and got to see marine organisms that they didn't even know exist and measure them and count them. The actual boat experience was unbelievable. So, this color is on our lobster pods, and all of our gear that goes in the water, you'll find a buoy with this color on it. Okay? The words are going to do the work, catch the water like that, just like I was talking about, okay? So all you're going to do is open your hands, let the... If it was sunny outside, do you think that's going to affect the light? Obviously. So then in turn, will that affect the temperature? Yep. Probably in the warmer waters. Oh. All right. Oh. We are in, Cap. Yeah. All right, so guys. Is this male or female? Uh, it feels like a female, they have, they carry their eggs up at the tip of the mantle, and what they'll do is they'll deposit the eggs on They had, one, the class was split into two groups. The front group did a lot of chemistry and water experiments, such as temperature, salinity, pH. Uh, the other half of the boat did, they actually trawled. Well, thank you. Uh, in particular, I think this is a pilot project, and uh, I'm just curious, um, a one-day trip back and forth to Connecticut, which you did have, versus the overnight experience, and all the technical details of getting parents and chaperones, and was it worth it, the overnight versus the one day trip? Is there anything that you can reflect on from the students who went down and back in post-trip? What, what kind of things a month, a year, or two years from now, which one do you think they'll remember? Overnight experience was just unbelievable. 
that was like I think the highlight for the kids just the fact that they got to go there and it is kind of a long trip there so it was worthwhile to plan out all these different activities and they were so busy the whole time and they just loved eating in the cafeteria and having their own bunk bed and it was just unbelievable for them. Um, I agree with the overnight experience you had more time to be able to do the projected activities. Um, field trips of this nature have a much greater impact on lifelong learning and I am extremely convinced that when my students look back on their overnight field experience to the Project Oceanology site, the Avery Point campus at UConn, that they will say it was probably the best learning experience probably of their whole career in school in New Bedford. So um, I was uh, proud to be part of that and I hope to s continue to see this kind of collaboration continue between the City of New Bedford Project uh, Oceanology and the uh, New Bedford Ocean Explorium and the New Bedford Schools.